Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here one more time. You know, what is actually happening throughout the world and is being obvious here in America is the simple fact that evil is trying to take over. Evil, my friends, wants to control the world. And evil is doing a very very good job as far as reaching its goal. It has power. It has influence over the people. And that influence is set up by money. All of the tools working to do exactly what is being done. And for those of you who are here in America, who are going through the different changes that we are being sent through by dealing with the political parties, and people who care nothing about you except the ability to use you for their own benefit, which is the nature of humankind. And when we have a man who came before the American people and said that he could shoot someone and his people would not, wouldn't care, that was saying evil, the worst evil, to kill someone. Only Satan, or the one that's being led by that spirit, one possessed by such evilness, would say that. And then to follow with, my supporters would not care. In essence, what does that say? That these people have bought on to evil. And regardless of where they've been hiding, regardless of the trees that they've been bending below or beds they've been sliding under, now the truth is being made known because a voice is echoing across the land that's saying evil has arrived and I am an alternative to what you have been taught. I am the mother child of what you are all about. And here I am standing before you. And the people said, hey, amen, 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 amen. But the message to all of us, ladies and gentlemen, is an indication of evil. How evil works. Those of you who recognize what's going on, you know that's evil. You see how it works. And you are disgusted with it. But your failure is that you think that you are all right because you see yourself as being a little better. But there are others who see you no better than the ones that you're putting down. And so as long as this which we call pain and suffering exists, it doesn't matter who you are, where you are, what you think you're doing. You are nothing but part of the problem. <clears throat> you see, this guy says that he could shoot, kill someone, and his supporters. Now, who are his supporters? Back in 2016, they were running against him as a candidate for president or representative of that party. And they said all of the things about him that he is. They told the world just exactly who he is. And at the end of that period, the people said, we want him. And these who had told the people the truth stood back and said, what was that? What kind of people are we dealing with? These people don't have any sense at all. And so while we might be trying to utilize what our intelligence have given us, it doesn't matter. So what we have to do is consider survival. And this is what they've done. They've allowed themselves to be bought by money, money to see them in office and to lie and do whatever else money wants them to do. And we the people sit back and suffer. But the message is this, <clears throat> anyone with power over another, anyone with power over another, whether it's your mother, your parents, or whether it's your children, or whether it's just people in general, or whether it's any organization, or whether it's your government, if they got power over you, they will abuse that power. That's a known fact. Now, government, as far as 
the peaceful one, the loving kind, is government of the people. Not by someone who stood up and said, I know everything. I got the smartest brain. I can get the best people. No, nah, no, nah, we're not led by that. No, nah, my friends, we're not led by that. Government is government is supposed to be of the people. This means that whatever is in operation that controls and governs us and our conduct and stuff like this is something that we have decided on and accepted. And we, as people, support. And the representatives in the positions of power in government are there as our representatives and they know what we know because it is what we know that they are there to implement. They're not there to be bosses. They're there to be servants of we the people who are the bosses. Somewhere we forgot that. And one of the main missions of basic human rights for all people is to remind us is to remind us of what is going on. Right now, we think about the abortion, Roe v. Wade. Women are upset, <clears throat> but few men made a decision about their conduct, took power, and just rammed it on them. Nothing about let's discover why we got to deal with this. Let's go really deep into it. And let us come out with a consensus of we the people. Let us deal with this thing heartfully. No, it's just bam. You got the power, you take it. And now you got people that argue with one another based upon that. Distracting, because now the focus is who you're voting for. The guy who voted for the, the end of women's right to abort, or this or that. And all of the other stuff in the world that's as big a hell as anything else is going on. Poverty, crime, and violence, terror. All these things are going on. Guns, racism, big, all of that stuff is going on, but it's not getting answered. See, because this is the way the system operates to keep everybody confused. And you're confused because you're trying to deal with the system. You're trying to deal with the world. You're trying to survive in a world that is designed to make sure that you don't survive beyond where they want you to. And I want you to understand that there's a God that, where you can focus on that God. <clears throat> and that God will teach you the way of life. And you allow that God to live in you and walk according to that way of life that has been shown to you. And those who are walking by the spirit of true God will be walking down the same path, my friends. And it will not cause you any pain or suffering. It will be a light into the darkness of the world who cannot see what is going on. And just by it being real... Just like the sun shine, you can't deny it. When the sun closes his eyes, you can't deny it. When you're walking according to the spirit of God, the spirit of love, the spirit of truth, it cannot be denied. Even people who try to resist it can't deny it. And it has effect. This is why evil gets mad. <clears throat> this is why evil says you got to go. This is where your reality is tested. You know, you go to elementary, middle, high, college, some university, and there's a period of <clears throat> testing your graduation time. This is your graduation time. Did you live on this earth to the extent that you represented positivity? You cared about those things that led to peace and prosperity and freedom and joy and happiness and people living their dreams, their wants, their needs, and their desires were met. This is what you were done to the extent, and it was real. It wasn't pretending. It wasn't out there trying to hustle someone. It was out there trying to spread the love of God. And its effect was that evil couldn't take it. Whether the people bought into it or not was beyond the point. They had to snap the head of the snake. This is your test. <clears throat> Do you graduate or not? Do you sell out or not? Do you commit suicide or not? Or do you walk and just like that sun, keep on shining? And then someone pulls the trigger or does something else to take you out. Doesn't really put your light out. It really makes your light shine brighter. This is why people are still talking about Jesus Christ. Because Jesus was real. And this, my friend, will determine if you are real. Many of us call ourselves being real. But when we get to that point, 
We just have to be and say, well, God understands. He'll forgive us. No, my friend. You are not worthy to walk around in heaven. You're not worthy if you allow a lie to rob you of the life that only God can give you. I just thought I'd take a moment and share that with you. <clears throat> uh, then I wrote some notes down here. The money of the main to you. Yep, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I think I've said about everything. I've repeated myself uh, here a number of times, but I felt it was necessary because we are still in darkness. <clears throat> and our political front doesn't care a thing about us. I know that you who are Democrats know that you have more compassion for people than the Republicans, and the Republicans truly have sold out. All those guys who follow Trump, all those guys who follow me and going along with the Republican persuasion, and all of those very rich people who are behind all this are doing nothing, but they are agents of evil, agents of evil. And everybody that's in pain and suffering knows it is the truth. He is they don't care that you know it's the truth. And the only way, you can't defeat them because they got all what they call power, the money and all that other stuff and so on and so forth. But when you got God, you walk according to God. And I know this sounds crazy because it seems like it has never happened for most of you. But the truth of it is, God will fight your battles. I'm not lying. God will fight your battles. And believe me, you, that invisible power got some power. And Satan can't touch it. Ah, that means that some of us don't have to go through some stuff. You don't mind. Why? We are the light of the world. Let me let you go. Until next time, Eddie Marcus say goodbye for now.